Welcome back, people. Today we're doing a little out of shop experience, trying to sell, solicit our kick scoots. This is my brother, Steve. Actually, has his own YouTube channel. Link in the description below if you want to check it out. A lot of Diario family references That's right. in That's there. That's right, Steve the Kid. Oh, it's Steve the Kid? He's okay, nice. He's helping me out today. We're in Montauk. We're actually gonna hit up parts in Montauk, parts in Shelter Island. Got your little moto represent. Got moto there we go, we got represent. our moto t-shirts on. It looks like we know what we're doing. <laughs> the goal is to show our scoots to a couple of bikes and surf shops out here. That's the plan. So, we're on a ferry. The place that we're heading to right now is called Shelter Island. Harder to get to because you can't get there unless you take the ferry. From what I'm told, this area is perfect for scooters. Mopeds, electric bikes, these little kick scooters are perfect for Shelter Island. I have never been, so I'm gonna have to see firsthand. I'm seeing like Martha's Vineyard, Block Island, that sort of a vibe because of its exclusivity. So here we go, and off, and off we go. Ferry to Shelter Island. There we are. On the other side. I was freaking out for a second, you know? Wait. It's very it's very weird to be in a car on a boat. It was an interesting experience, but I'm glad I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> Cool little shop here. They have some bikes that are super ideal. Look at this. Chopped in the back, minimalized in the front. I haven't really seen a Honda Pass for it kind of like chopped up like this. this is, that's very, very cool. You've seen him in the big old orange truck. There you go, there's Jack. What's going Hello, on, buddy? Boys? You remember this truck? We had it in the other video. One of our customers has a really cool truck. The make and model is gonna blow your mind. Look at that poke. This is like the moped of cars. And then there's mopeds in the back. It's like a moped truck. It's great, look at this thing. Diesel. Welcome to the Hamptons, baby. <laughs> ah, Jack's little tool shed. Ooh, he's got the juiced bike. Those are clean wells. I've never ridden a juiced bike before and Jack has three, I'm gonna try one. That's a lot of juice. It, you wanna ride this thing? This is like the 73 on steroids. Check it out. It's what do you think? This one feels a little bit smoother ride. I don't know why. You're also riding on really smooth streets. That could be too. Because I know these. <laughs> this one doesn't have the shocks. The other one doesn't have... Well, maybe this does more. No, oh, well, yeah. that's it. This uh, one has shocks. Yeah, because Super 73 doesn't have the shocks. Don't get me wrong. Super 73 looks slick, and you get a lot of attention on it. But this one looks just, just as slick. Big this ass tires. Slick, yeah. You know, it, it picks up real fast. Brakes real smooth. I mean, I feel like I'm, dr I'm driving a pretty cool thing. I I take this over the Super Seventy. <laughs> yeah, I would too. Can I trade my in? You know, I'm built. <laughs> cool bikes, Jack. Those juice bikes are fast. 1100 watts on the fast bike. 52 volts. Settings very similar to the one we're doing. We're doing. Remember, our bike is 60 volts, 1700 watts. So to be better. But. <laughs> Go. Nice. Wow. Maxi Sport LS long seat in this color with this decal. Whoa. This is definitely an 80s. You can tell from the square headlight and dash. 86. What? 86? That's older than me. That's the only other smoke I've ever seen. <laughs> 
<laughs> I know, I, you thought that was old. No, 86 is like very late model. So this is the youngest pook you've ever This is you've the youngest seen. pook I've ever seen in my life. This, this deserves a little backstory. We are staying at an Airbnb from a new friend of ours, John. He invited us to come, he wanted us to see his bikes, he wanted to meet us and, and look at these bikes. He just dropped these off for us to just, I guess, ride. Let's go check them out. Let's go check them out. He's got another one over here, like this gunmetal blue that's so sweet. This is also an LS. I bet this is a little bit earlier, like 83. 84, see? He knows his mopeds. <laughs> Start these bad boys up. Start them up. Don't forget about mopeds. Don't forget about mopeds. Well, that's the end. We do that together. Oh, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. I want to help say that. Okay, yeah, we say it together. When you get on it, you just I just forget how much fun it is just to like drive these things around. A lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Open you, road is just like. You, how, did you get to use your dart very much? What do we do with it? I don't know what we did. I think we sold it or something. We just sold it. It ran. It ran pretty good, but the problem was is just like it was just one. You know what I mean? So you couldn't right, ride with anybody. It wasn't enough. You need it too. You need right, it because right. it's fun to ride with other people. You know what I mean? Okay. But now we got two, and so we're gonna have fun. <laughs> wow! Look at the look at the bars on this thing. These are uh, the jumbos. <laughs> The, the high bars is crazy popular in Sweden and Norway. It's so comfortable. It's like all they do. High as you can go. My friends call me the gorilla. So I finally made it to John's house proper. This is John. John hooked us up with this place, his Airbnb. You do a bunch of Airbnbs in the area. A couple, yeah. A couple. Here, and I have one in Puerto Rico as well. And one in Puerto Rico. I'm going to put his link in case you ever want to do that. He's yeah. a super host on Airbnb. Yeah. So let's see, let's see your collection. We got yeah. rare bikes. Okay, the ape hanger, we saw that one. That's a custom. That this didn't come ape hanger out of the factory. We right here, the, uh, what, what do we got? Oh, we got the um, the UPS Magnum. Yeah, there was a show chasing classic cars, and the guy, uh, as he was looking at Fiat Double Bubbles, he panned past a brown one sitting in the uh, shed. Ah, okay. So I called the guy, cold called. I hunted on the show with the address that was shown in the back. Ah. Find the guy's name, call the guy, and I said, is that you? And he was kind of taken back. He's like, yeah, do you want to sell that moped? He's like, sure. And I, sure, I'll be little, there. Little I'll be there in three work. hours. So I kind of got lucky. This one landed in my lap. Yeah. But this one was in uh, Pennsylvania, and a couple of kids wanted to customize it and he basically said get away from my bike get don't touch it yeah Same so stock. he, so he of, was I, like i'll sell to you but you gotta keep the cat pretty, eye turn signals on yeah, that <laughs> one i get grief about from the other boys <laughs> and this one i got really lucky i just always hunting for my moby dick yeah so to speak this is the one i made the trip to buffalo here 12 hour drive to have something cool yeah i see oh i see what you're saying it's got that unique little uh um... yeah they're all black so this kind of just sat in the shed and slowly right. rusted i haven't gone through it yet patina. but like exactly as they patina. say yeah yeah 265 numbered limited edition uh, and i think there's only what 200 or so that are known to still be alive. I, 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 yeah. One year, 500 made, and they put the plaque on that, supposedly. Yeah, of course, that's as far as I the can. plaque, and then this whole dash is different. They didn't have that in anything else. The original okay. Cafe Racer. Yeah, that's true. I, I didn't really think of it that way, because I see so many Magnums customized to look just like this, but this, this was the like this out of the factory. Day, out of the factory, this is the only one where they brought the bars down. and. Right. That's the one right there. But she's dirty. I didn't expect company. <laughs> <laughs> This is my friend Darius, been a friend for a long time. He was my captain when I was getting into mopeds. You don't do mopeds anymore, anymore right now. Now he <laughs> owns a bunch of sailboats. Yeah, we do lessons, we're an ASA certified school. We'll take you sailing, we'll, we'll do big groups, bachelorette parties and water gun fights. Water gun fight. Darius went from a moped captain to sail captain. Yeah, because 
he was trying to turn his dad's boat around and it didn't go so well. Oh, wait a minute. I got the boat off the dock. I eventually got it back in too. What else is there to do? You know? It was no good. It was scary. <laughs> So I thank you for joining us on our Montauk adventure. Thanks for the likes, interacting with our content. Once in a while we do, you know, something different. Can't be in the shop all the time. But don't worry, next week we'll be back in the shop doing more of what we do. This is Pete from Second Stroke Mopeds saying don't forget about mopeds. We'll see you next week.